Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part one of Survival Evolve, where I'm going to show you guys what I do in between streams, okay? So, just going to a cargo drop on my own. Blue was just with me, but um, he's not with me anymore. So, yeah, um, my responsibilities on um, in part one is because I've basically got no skills, I need to level up my driving. I'm not going to be driving a motorcycle for long. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be driving a motorcycle on Survival Evolved. I'm driving a motorcycle on Meat Grinder. And then to get my survival skill up and to get my thievery skill to at least basic so that I can do kill boxes on my own, I need to defuse puppets, okay, to make some money for my clan. And I need basic or medium survival to... Um, to help me get around the map because I've got no compass, okay? Getting, getting to a cargo drop, um, a compass is extremely important so that you don't get lost. And now I'm just trying to see the bike has got a lot of health, so if, if it gets shot once or bumped once, it's going to blow up, but I'm not that worried about the health of the motorcycle. But yeah, there are clans that are that are getting every single cargo drop on the map okay survival evolved is only a half pop now at the moment but like i say there are clans that are getting every single cargo drop um so much more active um uh, much more active than it's you than it ha has been and yeah going after a cargo drop even if a server is half pop on your own isn't that good uh, because you are risking loot Okay, and when you're in a clan like I am, you have to consider your teammates. Okay, if you're, if, you know, even if I can do a kill box on my own, guys, I still need to consider the, I still need to consider the teammates. So that was an animal that I'm worried about. It sounds like somebody alerted an animal. So there's probably someone behind me. And since someone's behind me, I want to get here as fast as possible. I've got an RPK and I've got a grenade, which I must always focus on. I must definitely focus on me having a grenade. Don't know what that pup is doing. But yeah, I, I basically have to hit and run. The cargo drop landed quite close to me. So it's like a hit and run story here. But like I say, it's very active, so me not running into someone here is very unlikely. Very, very unlikely. So yeah, this part one on Monday. And yeah, I'll be giving you guys my progress on SE and Meat Grinder on a daily basis. Giving you guys some clan, clan gameplay and solo gameplay. Let's start listening now. myself in cover here i've already organized the lock picks again to be as fast as possible because i know clans are active um just need to focus on the important stuff don't need to focus on unimportant things when you're solo speed is a priority when you're with someone you can take your time because someone's outside covering you but if someone isn't covering you you need to be very, very fast because people do, yeah, people do come here with friends and people like camping the drop as well. And as you can see, I don't want to die right now. Don't want to die right now at all. Someone's just been banned again. And I want to run for my life, basically, now. With what I've got in here, I want to run for my life. I want to use the cargo drop as cover. Just, yeah, I just want to run away. 
just want to get away from the drop as fast as possible. Is someone trying to follow me with a gun? They're going to run slower than me. Yeah, I just want to have vision of the area. And I want to get through bushes as fast as possible. There's nothing more frustrating for a sniper than trying to get a shot on you and you running through bushes. I want to run through the bush and rest so that he doesn't know what I'm doing. Run through the bush and rest. Hold focus mode just to see if anyone's following me. But yeah, yellow screwdriver, ammo. Okay, very good loot. But like I say, if you're solo, you want to hit and run. That's my job as so, you know, when my team isn't with me. Is to get cargo drops and then again the base boulder. I need to get scrap metal for the base boulder. I don't want to pull out my gun now, guys. If there's someone in front of me, then I'll pull out my gun. If there's no one in front of me, I'm not pulling out my gun, okay? I want max running speed here. But yeah, want to get, like I said, want to get um, basic to medium survival so that I don't waste any time. Having a compass is very, very important. And then I want to get basic theory as well in case Motex, you know, in, in case my lock picker has real life responsibilities, I still need to be able to do the kill boxes. And then, yeah, getting getting parts for the base because I think we've, there's only one week and a day left um, for, the, for the safe period. Now that I'm back at my vehicle, I definitely want to take out the gun because somebody could have heard me want to get down in cover here yeah? somebody could have definitely heard me stop my motorcycle and like i say there was a sound there was a sound when i ran yeah so okay there's a puppet there yeah i just always want to make sure guys if they think you got to get to the cargo drop before them they can always sit at the vehicle I think I heard something. Don't know what I heard, but I'm going. Making sure I'm in the clear. I want to really shoot now. Like I say, guys, I want to shoot my gun. Okay. Just want to cancel this flag, the last thing that I built. And then I want to get out of here as fast as possible. So I definitely want to go downhill. No doubt, doubt about that. Definitely want to go downhill so that I don't stall. I haven't got a good bike skill. You don't want to stall when you're trying to drive away in case someone is looking for you. And that's it. Okay, so told you guys the priorities. And I'll give you guys some highlights in between. So we got away with that. Good start to the day. Good start to the day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am at the big city. Yes, I know I can get a lot of scrap at the scrapyard. But again, the the some of our city isn't as important as it used to be because of because of the hunting shops that closed down. So there's not a lot of vehicle repair kits here. There is some vehicles, but anyone that came here looking for vehicles is probably done by now. Um, so if you look at what you can get here, yes, you can get common loot, but I definitely feel if you're looking for scrap metal as a solo player, you don't want to go to the scrapyard because the scrapyard is going to be used by clans and, of course, the brick factory. So I'm just going to go through the big city and I've got a hiking backpack in my bike, okay? So I'm just going to fill my character up with scrap metal. As simple as what I'm doing it right now. Just search every single car. 
go into the markets, see if I can find stuff in the marketplaces. But the main thing I'm doing here is just looking for looking for scrap metal. As we know, all these hunting shops have been closed down. And that's why I say it's not as as much of a hot spot as it used to be. And again, I can get a bunch of alcohol and drinks for my for my team, which is important as well. There we get milk. Okay. So the marketplace still has good loot. Like we need this alcohol, guys. We need the absinthe. You know, to make better rags. So I'm helping my team in various ways coming here. And then, of course, I want to loot the the tool shop where Logan told me he's found a yellow screwdriver. And I haven't found the yellow screwdriver yet. But, I mean, I haven't looted the place enough to say if it's true or not. Not if it's true, of course I believe him, but I mean my luck with it is, my luck with it is very bad. As you guys can see, if you're looking for absinthe, the marketplaces are the place to come. If you want two liter bottles to fill up a car, okay, it's the place to come. Marketplaces, okay, I have to look at the advantages that they gave you give you and then of course there's still the military you know the gun shops which is nice but i don't have wire cutters on me that's the only sad thing but you can still come in here for random loot practicing the headshots when i want to defuse them quickly seeing if there's anything on the ground no there's nothing on the ground so i'm not going to lose anything if he if he blows up and you want to keep your main rifle equipped most of the time in case you run into a player it's very tight spaces around here so you can never you know don't don't take out your your gun too late I feel in this, in the big city, when you run into a player, he's probably close to you. So you're gonna have to lift and shoot your gun very, very fast. And like I say, I'm not crazy about this place, but while you're in the big city, why not just loot the gun shops? Okay? Not that bad. And then the clothing stores. Remember, the marketplaces gives you alcohol. The clothing stores gives you clothing, which you can turn into rags. Okay? So... You can always combine, combine the two. The, the alcohol in the hunting shops with the rags that you get from clothing. So let's just quickly see if we do get the infamous yellow screwdriver, which I haven't been lucky enough yet to find. Yeah, guys, there's a lot of there's a lot of broken down cars here. Okay, so they not it's not that easy to find a ton of scrap metal, but it's way safer. And again, even if you don't find a ton of scrap metal, you can find a ton of other things. So here's the tool shop. Again, you can find toolboxes, padlocks. Yeah, toolboxes. Okay, toolboxes, metal saws. Remember, guys, your focus is your team. When you play in a squad, your focus is always your squad. Okay? Don't just loot what you want to loot. That's the fastest you're going to make a team unhappy. Because they don't feel you're a team player. Someone who brings five metal swords to the base, that's a team player. Okay? Of course, padlocks are always used. Silver strip. I never know what is this. I never know what the silver strip is for. But in any case, I don't even know if you can sell it. So I'm gonna see how much this is worth. The scissors. So yeah, we haven't found we haven't found a yellow screwdriver here yet. But again, you can find a hundred use toolbox here. Yeah, there's various things that you can find in here, which is worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. 
Where's my nails? Where's my nails? Here. Yeah. Whatever I'm doing, I make sure that I do, you know, make the most out of it. We're just gonna go to the second gun shop. We, I think we've got enough alcohol for now. But all I want to do is go into the gun shop, check for, um, check for any easy, easy ammunition, or maybe a gun. Like I say, I've never liked this place. But who knows? Maybe it can surprise me. Battery there for my night vision. And like I say, this this place never impressed me, but who knows? Every dog gets his day, eh? So we can use the bar if we wanted to use the bar. But again, we don't need to use the bar because we've already got enough alcohol. Now we're going to quickly open this blue door. Again, why? To get... Uh, to look for a vehicle repair kit for my clan. Okay. Very, very simple. Always team focused. And I've got an RPK, so if someone's willing to run into me, that's also nice. Fame. Not to say he's going to lose, but the fact that I've got an RPK with a dry magazine does, you know, let's put the, let's put the odds in my favor just a little bit. Fuel, not really necessary. Batteries, we always know the team can use batteries and scrap metal. And maybe I can find a screwdriver. 100 use toolbox, guys. 100 use toolbox, that's what my clan wants to see. That is what my clan wants to see. And yeah, if I can get another hiking backpack, like I don't want to wear a salt backpack, guys. I'll just put the, I just put the bloody um, hiking backpack in the bike so that I can use the maximum space in the bike. Actually, a hiking backpack isn't the maximum amount of space. The maximum amount of space you can use in a cruiser is for for crafted backpacks. But like I told you guys, I don't, I'm not dedicated to the bike. And while we're here, we just level up our pistol skill. And then later, we're going to level up our rifle skill. I've got five screwdrivers. So I'm going to quickly um, loot the police station. And that's it, guys. That's my plans. Okay. Get back to the bike. Fill the bike up. Get my crew. Get my crew tools that they can use. Toolboxes they can use. Scrap metal they can use. Until, we're, until they are happy. Okay. Until, until they tell me they don't need anything anymore. Then I try and do what I want to do. And if a cargo drops lands, only if a cargo drop lands close to me, do I go for the cargo drop. Because again, it doesn't help you loot for your clan and then you don't do something stupid and lose everything. Okay, That's also not a bright idea. And going into that basketball court also. Yes, there's military loot there, but the risk is quite high. Okay, risk is quite high. And we can see people come here to pick the stuff. Um, and now I don't really want to use those lock picks. So I'm just going to... Where is my bundle of lock... Where's my bundle? Okay, I, don't, I can't see my bundle, but that's fine. I'm just going to open these five locks. I don't really focus on lockers, guys, until the three-day period is done, where I know I can find a key card, okay? So I don't go for this particularly, unless I, you know, I'm only going to use a lot of screwdrivers. When I know I'm going to find something. I'm just listening. Don't know if I can hear someone. You guys can see the doors are open and everything. Place is busy. I don't really care. I don't care about medium lockpicks. We can... We just don't want to use advanced lockpicks. And 
that's my plans for the day, guys. So see you tomorrow in part two. And hope you have an awesome day. Cheers till tomorrow. Not always exciting, guys. But like I say, when you're in a squad, selfish actions are not what you focus on. And according to me, we can't open up any more lockers. But I'm going to go above. I'm going to go above to see if I can get a backpack. Remember, police stations can give backpacks. I'm just going to go upstairs. Maybe get a lucky something. Okay, so I got a lucky nothing. See you guys later. Have a great day. Cheers. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to day two on Survival Evolved or part two. Because the days are going to be on the streams, the parts are going to be the recordings. Um, we just bought uh, the coolest um, police vehicle and blues got advanced driving. So yeah, we're going to look for a few screwdrivers and vehicle repair kits. We're going to go after every single cargo drop. And then before we end the session, we're going to go to the scrapyard and get a ton of scrap again. So yeah. We'll let you guys know if any action happens, but that's the priority for today. Having some fun, but still focusing on the on the scrap metal. See you guys now. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Not been a very eventful day on Survival Evolved. Got a lot of loot, got a key card, so we're probably gonna do a kill box tomorrow. Everywhere we go, it's already been looted. There's about 50, 50 people on the server at the moment. Um, every cargo drop we went to has basically been looted. But this one's very, very close to us in C0. You guys can see it there. So, this is the last cargo drop that we're going for for the day before we log off. So, let's see what happens. Probably close enough, mate. Yeah. Right here, right here. Fine. Okay, flag is down, let's go. I put a flag down as well, guys, because um you can only see your squad mate's flag when you're like 50 meters away from it, you know, so to save time, it's good that both of us can see the flag from a distance or the blueprint. So yeah, me and blue against the possibility of large clans with sniper rifles. Um, I see a hill on the right, on the right blue. Maybe it's good if we go right. You going right or left blue? I'm going right as well. Okay. I think it would have been smarter to go left and right, but I won't. Yeah, we have to get around this puppet. We can't shoot. We can't shoot now. I was going around all the puppets. Here we go. Action time. At a possible sniper spot here. Yeah, if someone's gonna snipe, they're probably gonna snipe from here. Okay, no one's here by the sniping spot. 
I've got high ground. I don't see anyone at the moment. You're supposed to be the one in the drop. Yeah, I'm just scanning the area. Getting my stamina back. So our right now is exposed. Now that we're looking at it from this side, the right side I think is the only only dangerous side. You're gonna get high ground here, so you can check the right. You see that? You see that field there? That could be a dangerous area right there. Okay. I trust you, I'm going in. I'm in the open. Okay, it hasn't been hasn't been lucky. More than fifty people online, guys. We really thought we were gonna have have a fight on our hands. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Hmm. MREs. Got the food, dolls. Got the food, buddy. M9 kit. That's what I want. Beautiful. Okay, Papa just died. You heard where the Papa died, Blue? No. Papa just died. Okay. Let's get out of here. Papa died behind you. Let's go back the way we came. Hey guys, we wanted to give you a PvP fight, but I don't please believe it or not. Usually the cargo every cargo drop has been looted. And the one that we get to in time doesn't get competed for. Murphy's Law, ladies and gentlemen, Murphy's Law. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and click that like button. And on day three, we're gonna do the kill box. So have a great day, guys. Cheers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Second key card for the Guardians. Let's see what, what goodies we get. Yeah, don't take the loot. Let me let me just show yeah, what loot it is. Oh, that took long. <laughs> First surprise package, everybody, is the SBD kit. Holy poop! 
Holy poop. Great A stuff happening right here, guys. Great A stuff happening right here. And a ghillie suit. And in the second door, ladies and gentlemen. The second door has AK-15 kit. You can take that one, Blue. AK-15 kit. Beautiful, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The third door, ladies and gentlemen, has a stupid kit. The one that we hate to see, guys. The one that we hate to see. Yeah, don't walk in front of me like that. Here. The fourth door, ladies and gentlemen. He has got the pink guinea suit. And yeah, he did do. Sorry about X. Blues looting the stuff with me. I saw the kill. <laughs> got it. And we got a C4 block or what? There's C4 the part. Board. Yeah, C4 circuit board. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Have a fantastic day. See you guys next time. Cheers.